Namaste everyone, my name is Shrikant Sundar. This is my channel Cadimate, where we give life to the boring subjects using CAD technologies. In this video, we will take up a problem on comparative scales and we will solve this problem. The problem statement goes something like this. We have to use a representative factor of 1 is to 40 to draw a comparative scale. One of them has to read meters and decimeters, the other has to read yards, feet and inches. We have to mark a length of 4.7 meters on the first scale and found out how much it measures on the second one. So basically, we'll have to convert meters length into yards, feet and inches. So let us proceed to draw it. First of all, we need to draw the plane scale of RF1 is to 40. Now this one I have already covered in one of my previous videos, the link to which will appear here on the top right corner. You can click that and take a look at it. So here it is, the plane scale which measures meters and I have marked on it already a distance of 4.7 meters. Now we have to build a, a diagonal scale which is having the same RF that is 1 is to 40 and we have to mark, we have to find out how much this 4.7 meters measures in terms of yards, feet and inches. So to do that, first we'll have to take a pen and paper and make some calculations. So we all know three feet are approximately equal to one meters. And three feet are what make one yard. Okay. So since we have a scale of around six meters here, so six meters are going to be approximately equal to six yards. So the maximum length for which we'll have to make the diagonal scale diagonal scale will be 6 yards. So we'll have to first find out what is the actual length, what is the actual length of the 6 yards. So to do that, first we'll have to take 6, multiply it with how many feet are there in 1 yard. So 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. So we'll have to multiply 3 to get this converted 6 yards will be converted into feet. Now each feet has 12 inches, one feet, one feet has 12 inches. So to convert this in feet into inches, we'll have to multiply 12 to this. Now this value what we get, we'll get it in inches. Now again, we'll have to convert this inch, so one inch is 2.56 meters, 2.56 meters. Oh, sorry, centimeters, 2.56 centimeters. So we'll have to multiply this with 2.56 and this length, we will get the actual length and that will be in centimeters, fine. But when we are drawing it on the drawing sheet, we will not be using the actual length. We'll be using the drawing length, fine. We'll be using the drawing length. And we know the uh, relation, the formula for RF is drawing length drawing length by actual length so this is the formula fine so if you want to find the drawing length from this actual length we, that we just calculated uh, the drawing length will be equal to rf multiplied with the actual length rf multiplied with the actual length so rf we all know it is 1 by 40 and the actual length we got here, so we'll have to substitute it. So 6 into 3 into 12 into 2.56. So this length we will get it in centimeters. So let us calculate and see how much it is. I'll take a calculator and I'll find out. So we need a 6 into 3 into 12 into 2.56. So this length is the actual length in centimeters. So this cannot be drawn on the drawing sheet and hence we'll have to multiply this with the RF. So multiply this with the RF, the RF is 1 by 40. So now we get 13.8. So this length here is 13.8 centimeters. Fine. So we'll have to draw a length of 13.8 centimeters and that is the drawing length. But the actual length of this will be 6 yards. Actual length of this will be 6 yards. So let us go ahead and draw this in AutoCAD. 
So first of all, I'll have to take a length of a horizontal length of 13.8. So since I'm using all the dimensions in mm in AutoCAD, I'll have to feed 138. Now you may uh, you may have to note here that I have kept the ortho option on here. Without the ortho option on, the line will not become exactly horizontal. Next, since I am planning this as a diagonal scale, I'll have to take a very big thickness for this. And the vertical distance, the small division that we have, we have to divide into 12 parts. Fine. And like in the previous cases where we were making 10 divisions in each of the subdivision, we'll have to make 12 divisions, 12 equal divisions in smallest part that we get. So the thickness of the diagonal scale that we have to take here is going to be 6 centimeters offset of 6 centimeters. So it has to be 60 mm. So let me take the offset of 60 mm over here. Next, we will have to divide this into 6 parts. And that's because this is uh, this this length that we have drawn here, 13.8 centimeters, that represents 6 yards. So let me make divisions. So I'll give the division command div. Click on the line and press 6, enter. You can see some points are placed here, dividing this line into 6 equal divisions. Now all I have to do is to draw vertical lines from all these points. You can also take offset of this distance. And my diagonal scale, the main divisions of my diagonal scale are now ready. Now. I have to take offsets of 5 mm in the upper direction. So how many times will we get this? Since we have taken 6 centimeters as the vertical length, the number of divisions which we get here in the vertical will be 12. And each one will have 1 inch uh, being represented. Now let me mark the measurements of this. So. This is one yard, here we have two yards, then we have three yards and so on, five yards. Now we need to divide this starting subdivision into number of feet. Now here we have seen that one yard is equal to three feet. Fine. So this first division we need to subdivide into three divisions. So for that to happen, I'm taking an extra line which is overlapping the previous bigger line. So when I select, you can see the smaller line is selected and when I click here, you can see the larger line is getting selected. So this smaller line, I need to now divide into three equal parts. To do that, I will again use the command divide, div, enter, then click on this line over here and enter the number of divisions required as 3. So now you can see again some points are placed on this smaller line dividing the smaller line into 3 equal divisions. Now with this we need to make a diagonal scale. So what we have to do is we will have to take the first point here and join it with the topmost left corner. And the same line we need to copy from this point over to the other two points. So this is our diagonal scale. Fine. So when we move forward from zero, we are able to measure in terms of yards. When we go backwards from zero, we will be able to measure in terms of feet. And if we go upwards, we will be able to measure in terms of inches. So now, we will have to use this scale here, the plane scale, take the measurement of 4.7 meters and find out how much that measures in terms of yards, feet and inches. So let us proceed. So since we will be using a compass in uh, when we are doing it in manual drafting, but we don't have a compass here. So instead of that, I will just be using a circle. So center point of circle, I will place over here and then the other end, I will make it to pass through this point. So radius of this circle 
is 4.7 meters. Now I will pick this circle from point here and I will keep it at 4 yards. But when I keep it at 4 yards, you can see that the circle, the end point is going beyond our scale. So that means this uh, is greater than 4 uh, yards. So we'll have to move this circle back to 5 yards. And you can see the other end is now within this uh, limit. Now we can see that this length of 4.7 meters is definitely greater than 5 yards. So 5 yards is of course the, the distance. Let me just point this out. So 5 yards plus. Now we have to check out how many feet it is. So when we go back from 0, we, we can see that it is not completing 1 feet. Fine. That means the number of feet that we have to include here is zero feet, zero feet. And then we'll have to find out how many inches it is. To find out the number of inches, we will have to take a line and we have to start exactly at this quadrant and draw a vertical line. Fine. So you have to draw a vertical line. And we have to check out where this vertical line meets this diagonal we find that it is almost meeting exactly at this line. So the point that we have to consider is this. Fine. So the distance between this point over here and this line over here, that's the distance which is equivalent of 4.7 meters. And for that to happen, how many digits we go up? One, two, three, four. That means that includes four, four inches. Fine. So this is the converted length of 4.7 meters in terms of yards, feet and inches. So hope you have understood what a comparative scale is, how to use it and what is its significance. So that's it for this video. Hit the like button if you really like our video and pass it on to all your friends and of course don't sub don't forget to subscribe to our channel for further updates like this thank you